Okay, sorry about that. Uh, now, we would like to... Hunter, are you okay? Oh, I'm just really emotional right now after those speeches. Put yourself together, we have a band banquet to run. Um, next, we would like to talk um, to talk more about our awesome scene, um, season. It would. Um, it was Mr. Brown and Mr. Kramer will summarize our 2021 marching season. Please come up to the stage. <laughs> Please and thank you. I always get paranoid that I'm going to hit myself in the head one of those times, you know. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you for that lovely introduction. You guys are doing a terrific job this evening. Um, I would like to thank all of you uh, for being here tonight, and I'm, I'm very glad that we get to celebrate this night every year. Um, and even through all of the, the chaos and all the turmoil and everything, you know, the fact that even last year when we weren't in school and we had it virtually, um, it was something that was very memorable. Um, and, and one of the things that I, I also wanted to point out is that this entire night, this entire night, everything is put on by the students. Every single thing. So you guys have done an amazing job. You guys continue to do an amazing job. And even today, even in TAP, we were like, you guys were like little worker ants, like getting all the stuff together. And it looks terrific. And you guys, have, it's, it's, it's turning into an amazing night. So thank you so much for that. Um, this year has been extremely special. Uh, and I would like to thank all of our marching staff Chris Cooper, Mark Martin, Leah Frommer, Vasilia Katimova, Justin DeCoke, um, for all of their hard work and dedication throughout the year. And uh, one group of people that I really want to thank are all of our parent volunteers um, and for all of the work that you guys have done throughout the season. Um, the amount of people that it takes to move a band from point A to point B is mind-boggling if you've never been on the uh, on the other side of it. You know, when we go to a band competition, we see the band. Hi, band. And they go. Um, and know that, you know, for every single band, there are, there are 15, 20 parents and just doing everything, okay? Whether it's hauling equipment and loading trailers and unloading trailers and loading trailers and unloading trailers and uniforms and snacks and water and everything. Um, the the entire marching season could not could not have gone without um, all of you guys volunteering. So thank you all so much for that. Um, way back in May, um, Mr. Brown and I last year, we were. We talk often, we share an office. I mean, technically my desk is outside the room now, but we don't always share an office. And uh, we, were, we were a little apprehensive. We were a little apprehensive. Um, we, we sat there and, and we were thinking that after the time off from the pandemic, and then we had a marching year where we just had the kids march, so at least they were getting familiar with learning how to march. We realized that half the band hadn't really had a marching season before. And, you know, and so there are all of these things. Like, we didn't know kind of like what was, you know, what was going to happen. Was it going to be difficult to try to get the kids to push themselves, you know, after they hadn't experienced it for more than a year? Um, you know, we didn't know. Uh, we, we didn't really know what, what, what was going to happen. And so, you know, we took... The kids and we had this idea, you know, we had the idea for the show and we just, we just, you know, threw it out there on a wing and a prayer and just went. And we, we pushed them out there and said, you know, here we go. Um, and so we had the first marching rehearsals in May. And 
I noticed something. This is my 11th year here at Melville, and I, there was something about this group of kids that I had never experienced before, that I had never seen before. Even throughout all my time, even as I was marching, I never saw this. I never witnessed this. I didn't know exactly what it was, but there was an electricity about them. They were more energetic. Every single one of them was hungry to do something great. They were more excited to be together. They were welcoming to our new members with open arms and ecstatic that the band finally got to be back together. Now, I, I know that the central theme of a lot of the senior speeches was Kramer's really good at yelling at us and telling us to do march better and stuff. The, the really weird thing was is that when these kids came over and when we went over the basics and stuff like that, I, I didn't have to yell as much because every single one of them were pushing themselves to do, to do what they had to do and to do it the absolute best that they could. And so Thursday rehearsal's done and every Thursday, bingo. Yeah? Yeah, yeah bingo. Yeah. All right. We'll see you there tomorrow. Um, they, uh, I, I, Mr. Brown and I were talking. He goes, well, so how they work, how they do. And I said, I gotta tell you, bro, these kids are just fun. They are fun. They are energetic, they work hard. They are fun to work with. They are entertaining, they're fun to interact with. Um, and everybody was always there determined to do your best. Now. You could argue, it's like, well, yeah, of course, you know, they're sitting at home for a year and a half on falling asleep during their virtual classes and playing video games and messing around on their phones. So, of course, you know, all you got to do is just move that boulder down the hill. It's going to go. It's fine. Um, but I honestly think, uh, I honestly think that through that experience, through the experience that, you know, we have endured, that all of you have gained a perspective. And I would venture to say a perspective that later generations of people will never see the same way you do. This new perspective allowed you to have a new appreciation for the things that you have, the activities that you enjoy, and the people in your lives. You learned not to take what has been able to experience for granted, even if it seems like a lot of work at first. You've, uh, you've learned to enjoy the journey that is needed to accomplish great things. You've learned the real personal growth always comes when we are stretched, personally, physically, academically, and musically. You've learned to love every second of this because you have experienced that thing being taken away over something that was not in your control. Now, I might be going out on a limb here on my next point, but I really want every single person in the band in here tonight to really think about this. I believe that one of the biggest points of perspective that you have gained is the sense, is a, a renewed sense of ownership in our band. And I can see it from every single person here. And it doesn't matter what grade you're in, it doesn't matter how much experience you have, our time away from each other has given you a more intense sense of pride and ownership for this activity at Melville High School. And with this new perspective, I want you to take this experience and think about the future. Not just your futures and the things that you're going to do when you're older, when you graduate, when you walk across the stage, again, whether you're a freshman or a senior, but think about the, the future of the program and the people that are coming in through this journey. The journey that you guys have either partially all the way, you know, partially through or all the way through. I want you to think about reaching out to those middle schoolers. Help them learn how to play their instrument. Play your instrument with them. Do fun things with them. Share your new perspective. Be a mentor. 
Between middle school and high school, here at Melville, it's all about the seven-year journey. And I want you to be involved in their journey. Show them what they have to look forward to. And I had mentioned this on the bus coming back from Pinckneyville with all the, with all the drum line during the senior speeches that we did coming back um, from the competition. And I wanted to stress to all of you guys that you got a second chance. You got a second chance to experience an activity that has offered you great insight. You have always heard the expression that opportunity always knocks. But what I like to say is that opportunity doesn't always knock twice. But for you all, it did. Encourage people that have not yet been lucky enough to experience what you have to not miss this opportunity. Share with them your energy, excitement, your commitment, and passion. Tell them to enjoy the time they have and to live the moments well. Thank you very much.